By the end of this video, you'll be able to upload your LifeTouch student photos to PowerSchool. Here's the situation. You're an administrative assistant working in a large school. You've just received the photo disk and directory from your LifeTouch school photographer, and you would now like to upload these photos into PowerSchool. Where do you begin? To begin, you need to be working on your desktop. Your LifeTouch photographer will provide your school with a photo CD that contains all of your student and staff photos on it. The company also provides a convenient software package called ImageStream to help you export your photos to your computer. Once your photos are properly saved onto your computer, you can import them to PowerSchool. So your first step is to install the ImageStream software onto your computer. To begin the installation, insert the photo CD into your computer's CD-ROM drive. The following window will open up prompting you to install the software. Click on the Run Image Stream install prompt shown here. The installer program will initiate and, when prompted, choose Install Image Stream and install it using the typical install parameters. The installation will take a few minutes. Upon completion of the installation, the LifeTouch ImageStream software opens to the following window. ImageStream is used to export the photos and mapping instructions into a folder on your computer so that you can import them easily into PowerSchool. Click Launch Image Stream, shown here. Click Select All, shown here. Doing so selects all the photos that are on the disk. Click the yellow Add arrow to grab the photos. Click the Export Wizard button here. Click Next. This opens the administrative software and destination directory. This is where you tell ImageStream that you use PowerSchool as your database software and create a folder on your computer to place the photo files in. Here, you're being asked which administrative software that you're using. From the drop-down menu, choose PowerSchool SIS. Notice that the destination directory is going to be the ImageStream folder found on your C drive. To create a new destination folder, click Browse. Now, click on the Create New Folder button shown here. Type a name for this folder. Let's call it Student Photos 2015. Click Open. To review, ImageStream knows that you are using PowerSchool as your student information system and it will export all of your photos into the student photo folder you created on the C drive in the ImageStream folder. You'll need to remember this for later. Click Finish. As you can see, all the photos are being exported from the CD to your computer. At the end, you need to click OK to complete the export. Now you can close ImageStream. Let me review where your photos are. Click on the Library folder. Click on the C drive. Click on the Image Stream folder and open your School Photos folder you created earlier. You're excited to see that your Photos and ID link are here as these are the two files needed to upload your photos to PowerSchool. It's time for you to import your student photos to PowerSchool. 
As usual, click on the PowerSchool logo to refresh the page and you're ready to get started. On the left hand side of the page you'll see Setup. Click on System. Looking down the page under Data Management, you'll see Photo Management. Click on it. Select Import Pictures. We're importing student photos, so leave the students as the group. Next, PowerSchool wants to know the location of the photo zip file. This is the file that you created earlier using the ImageStream software. This particular file folder has a zipper on it and looks like this. To find this file, you need to retrace your steps. Click on the Browse button. Click on the C drive. Open up the ImageStream folder. Open up your Student Photos folder. And it'll open up the Photos folder. Notice that this file is the one with the zipper. It is the compressed file holding all the student pictures in it. Click on it to highlight and click Open. Next, PowerSchool needs the mapping file. This is also located in the same file you created earlier. So once again, click on the Browse button, click on the C drive, open up the ImageStream folder, open up the Student Photos 2015 folder you created earlier, and the file you're looking for is right here. Highlight it and click Open. Lastly, leave mapping type as is. Now, click Upload to upload your photos. Your student photos are now being uploaded to PowerSchool, and this will take a minute or two to complete. Once the upload of photos is complete, you'll receive a message indicating the number of photos that were successfully imported. In this case, 283 student photos were successfully imported and 35 failures. The photos that failed are likely the staff photos. Click on the little arrow shown here will show what photos failed to load. Notice that the first four letters of most of these photos are NOID. This means that the person in question did not have a student number and thus no ID. This would apply to the photos taken of your staff. To verify that the student photos successfully uploaded, go to your PowerSchool main page. Select some students. Let's select the grade six students. Open up a student. And notice that the photo is shown here at the top of the page. If you click on photo, you'll see that this student's photo was successfully uploaded. You can also click a few more students that I grabbed earlier to see if their photos were here as well. As you can see, your photos are now uploaded. There will be times when you need to delete or upload a photo for an individual student. It should be noted that all individual student photos can be accessed on your LifeTouch photo CD. With your CD inserted in your computer's CD-ROM drive, go to your desktop and click the folder shown here. This gives you access to all your files on your computer. Click on the DVD drive, open the LifeTouch file, and all your photos are located in the Images file. In this case, all the student photos are identified by student ID, and at this moment the files are in a list for you. If you'd like to view the photos as a thumbnail, click on the drop-down arrow shown here. Select large icons, and now all the photos are displayed and easy to view. To work with an individual student's photo, select the student you want to work with. On the left side of the page, under Information, you'll see Photo. Click on it. 
This is the page where you have the option to delete and submit a new photo if needed. To delete the photo, click on Delete Photo. Click on the Confirm Delete Photo button to confirm you want to delete this photo. The photo is now cleared from the student's record. To submit a new photo, click here. Here, PowerSchool is asking you to select a new photo for the student. In this case, the photo you want is on the LifeTouch CD, so click on the Browse button. Click on the DVD, select the LifeTouch file, select the Images file, and select the photo you want to submit for the student. Click Open. Now the file path is completed, so you can click Submit. And voila! You've successfully uploaded a new individual student photo. Congratulations! You've successfully used the ImageStream software to quickly import your LifeTouch student photos to PowerSchool. These photos will allow you to more easily identify your students.